Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. James chapter 1 verse 9 says, Let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation. Most of us avoid pain. We keep our medicine cabinets loaded with pain relievers. We cannot even imagine undergoing a major surgery without some form of anesthetic. As a matter of fact, we are often so averse to pain that we tend to think that God must desire for us to experience a pain-free life. After all, a loving God surely does not want us to suffer pain, does He? Although God takes no pleasure in our pain, we must acknowledge that He sometimes allows painful circumstances to occur in our life in order to shape us and make us more like Christ. Sometimes our times of despair turn out to be a much-needed light into our soul. I once came across the following poem written by an anonymous Confederate soldier, a devout young man who fought in the American Civil War. The lines of this poem express the soul of a man who has learned to view his times of adversity from a different perspective. I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked God for health that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness that I might feel the need for God. I asked for all things that I might enjoy life. I was given life that I might enjoy all things. I got nothing that I asked for but everything I had hoped for. Almost despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered. I am among men most richly blessed. Do we trust God to lead us even when we cannot see the pathway in front of us? Do we trust Him to be all-knowing, all-loving, and all-powerful? Do we believe He does all things well? As the Apostle Paul writes, Whatever is not from faith is sin. Romans 14, verse 23. This is why God leads us through the dark places. It is only in the darkness that we learn to walk by faith. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He, clothed in glory, arrayed in splendor, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He, clothed in glory, arrayed in splendor, great and mighty is He. Let us lift His name up high, celebrate His grace, for He has redeemed our lives and He reigns on high. Great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He. Clothed in glory, arrayed in splendor, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He. Clothed in glory, arrayed in splendor, great and mighty is He. Let us lift His name up high, celebrate His grace. For He has redeemed our lives and He reigns on high. Great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He, clothed in glory, arrayed in splendor, great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He, great and mighty is He, clothed in glory, arrayed in splendor, great and mighty is, great and mighty is, great and mighty is He.